gather around the table once again for another session of Dungeons and Drakfus, and today we take on the last raid of the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. Now, when you talk to most Wrath fans, they always say, you know, what was the ending expansion? Oh, well, Ice Grand Citadel. Wrong. No, 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 no. There was another raid that came out after Ice Crown Citadel that was basically a setup for the next expansion, Cataclysm. So to open this up to people uh, a little bit, it was probably a little over a year before we would go from Fall of the Lich King to Cataclysm. And in that time, there really wasn't a whole lot of extra stuff to do. Raid Ice Crown Citadel and that was pretty much it. But in between that, uh, Blizzard decided to give us a little bit of a setup event uh, before they changed the world forever. And that was uh, an assault on another sanctum within the Wormrest Accord. So let me just go ahead and set things up for you as it's described. When the clutch of Twilight Dragon Eggs was discovered within the Obsidian Sanctum, Coriolstras asked the Council of Six to send adventurers to destroy them. The deed was done quickly and without fanfare or acknowledgement. At first, all was all seemed quiet, but then all, then all communication with the Guardians and the Ruby Sanctum ceased. So if you guys haven't figured, like, the way that this works is the Obsidian Sanctum was a, basically a place to keep the dragon eggs of that particular dragonflight. Ruby Sanctum works the exact same way. The guards stationed at the portal were slain and the mystic stones shattered. The implications of the Ruby Sanctum being breached are dire, and it little is known of the identity of the attackers. As the Black Dragonflight's numbers in Northrend seem too limited to have pulled off such an attack, what power would dare attack the stronghold of the Red Dragonflight? And how did they get past the guards undetected? And so that is basically patch 3.3.5. I'm sorry, I, I actually said in the Vault of Archivon video 3.4. It was 3.3.5, Ruby Sanctum. So we're going to go ahead and step into the Ruby Sanctum, but first let's get a quest from Crassus. So Assault on the Sanctum. Blood Elf, something terrible has transpired within the Ruby Sanctum beneath the temple. The entry to the Sanctum is in ruins, and its guardians violently slain. We sent scouts to investigate, but they have not returned. I cannot help but fear the worst. Enter the Ruby Sanctum and discover what has befallen the home of my flight. Once we have more information, we can plan our next steps accordingly. Be careful. All right. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and step on into the Ruby Sanctum. Now, the unfortunate part is the bosses in there are not, they don't really have a whole lot of lore. They are just uh, elites of the Black Dragon Flight along with the Twilight Dragonflight. This was kind of our first introduction to that Dragonflight in-game. If you had been reading the uh, the books, you were a little bit more acquainted with the Twilight Dragonflight than most. And actually, the, the interesting part is that the events of the Ruby Sanctum were then added into a book called Twilight of the Aspects just to give extra lore towards Thrall as well as to uh, Alex Straza. So I would actually recommend that you read... Uh, Twilight of the Aspects, I think is what it's called. Not Dawn of the Aspects, Twilight of the Aspects. And uh, I don't think Nobble's ever covered it, so I won't put the description below, but uh, I will cover whatever I can in there for you guys. So let's go ahead and step into the Ruby Sanctum and help out uh, the Red Dragon Flight in here. So here is the Ruby Sanctum. It's very much like the Obsidian Sanctum. It's, it's just basically a big room, um, but it has a little bit more uh, effort put into it than the Obsidian Sanctum did. I'm not saying that there was an effort put into the Obsidian Sanctum, but not as much uh, compared to this, because like I said, the all the bosses were optional, all the, or all the sub-bosses were optional aside from Sartharian. Not the case here. You actually have to make your way through the bosses to be able to finish it. Uh, let's just make sure I have auto loot off. So as you can see, the Black Dragon Flight have pretty much taken control. And we have already bosses or generals of the Black Dragon Flight trying to get to whatever remains of the Red Dragon Flight in here. Your power wanes, Ancient One. Soon you will join your friends. Well, let's go ahead and take out this guy. So it's Baltharis the Warborn. And again, unfortunately, no real lore is known about these guys, aside from they were made for this instance. The 
has arrived. Yes, it has. Fist of Fury! We will save you, Red Dragon Flight Person! Twice the pain and half the fun. I see what you did, Dar. That was really funny. The only problem is, is that I can make three of me. You can only make two. Okay, there we go. I didn't see that coming. The other downside is that unfortunately, I could I don't not drop have loot. held out for much longer. A terrible thing has happened here. Yeah, definitely. There's Twilight's hammer banners all over the place. What happened? We believe the Sanctum was well fortified, but we were not prepared for the nature of this assault. The Black Dragon King materialized from thin air and set upon us before we could react. We did not stand a chance. As my brethren perished around me, I managed to retreat here and bar the entrance. They slaughtered us with cold efficiency. But the true focus of their interest seemed to be the eggs kept here in the Sanctum. The commander of the forces on the ground here is a cruel brute named Zerithrian. But I fear there are greater powers at work. In their initial assault, I caught a glimpse of their true leader, a fearsome, full-grown Twilight Dragon. I know not the extent of their plans, heroes, but I know this. They cannot be allowed to succeed. Okay, so we need to report to her to be able to turn this quest in. Thank you again, Monk, for rescuing me from Baltharis's clutches. There is still much work to be done, however. Okay, so the Twilight Destroyer. This was no reckless attack, but rather a carefully orchestrated strike against the heart of the Red Dragonflight. Zerithrian on the bluff over there is overseeing the assault, but the true leader of this force is a brash and powerful Twilight Dragon named Halion. Not since Darganax has a full-grown spawn of Sinestra's twisted experiments been seen. Slay him, Drakfu, and then when the invasion has been fully repelled, report to Crassus regarding all that you've seen here. Be careful. So I know that a few people actually say Halion. I'm going to say Halion, because that's the way I've always known how to, how to say it. So, all right, we now know our objective. We need to take care of Halion. But in order to get there, we actually have to take care of the other bosses in the Ruby Sanctum. So here we go. And starting with the next boss, which is Saviana Ragefire. Let's go ahead and make our way to her. Or to him. Or. They're dragons. Gender means very little aside from breeding to them. Or they are immortal and they have other things to worry about. Like their charge from the Titans. Oh yeah, by the way, Warglaves. Eh. Uh, so here is Saviata Rangefire. Unfortunately, again, no lore on her. She's just a member of the Black Dragonflight. If it's a guy, I'm gonna laugh. You will suffer for this girl. intrusion. Oh yeah, well I'm gonna do Fist of Fury! I believe it's me that's laughing last. There we go. So they're taking care of Saviana. And once you take care of the first two, Zerithrian opens up. Otherwise, he's just basically guarded by a wall of fire. I'm not going to worry about this last group of mobs because I don't have to. Let's go ahead and nuke them down. So here is actually some red dragon eggs that are being guarded by Zerithrian probably then to to experiment with them and make twilight dragons out of the red dragons uh so let's go ahead and take care of general zerithrian Amistraza has chosen capable allies a pity that i must end you oh yeah well it looks like i'm ending you i'm doing way more damage than you are oh no intimidating roar there you go. Oh no! What the heck is happening? Yeah. Why 
Why is it shaking? I guess somebody's about to show up. There you go. Ah. Uh, Meddlesome insects. There we go. You're too late. The ruby sanctum is lost. So this is basically your first look at the Twilight Drakes that would eventually be a big deal in Cataclysm because you're going to be dealing with the Twilight Dragonflight quite a bit. So here is Halion. Uh, he was basically kind of a charity boss to give you guys until we were able to finish up or until Blizzard was able to finish up Cataclysm. And now let's go ahead and take him out. To the coming of a new age of destruction. Sadly, no lore about him either. He is just a Twilight Dragon. A fully grown Twilight Dragon. Oh, crap. I need a target. Oh, I forgot about this aspect. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, there actually has to be... I think at most two people in here. But uh, I'm going to wait till he respawns and see if maybe I can still take him out without going into the portal. If not, then unfortunately I can't actually finish the instance, but I did at least want to show off Alion and, you know, show what we were basically dealing with uh, from here on in, in the Cataclysm expansion. We were going to be dealing with a lot of Twilight Dragons. So let's go ahead and take him out. I need to get this. Your world teeters on the brink of annihilation. You will all bear witness to the coming of a new age of destruction. Will we now? You will find only suffering within the realm of twilight. Okay. Enter if you dare. Okay, I'm gonna wait a second and see if I actually have to go into the twilight realm. Okay, we are in the Twilight Realm now. And it didn't break, so that's a, that's a good thing. Beware the shadow. Oh no, beware the shadow. The light and the darkness. Cower mortals before the herald of death wave. Well, I'm not cowering before yo. Now, unfortunately, he actually does have a debuff that heals him, so we actually do need to take him out pretty quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and beef up. Fist of Fury! There we go. So there you go. The Twilight Destroyer. Uh, so you would be able to get gear that was Ice Crown equivalent. And in some cases was better. I remember a lot of people actually, as soon as this came out, were actually getting uh, new best in slot items from Ruby Sanctum to make up for items that didn't necessarily do it for them in Ice Crown. But that's it. Uh, so Halion would be basically a harbinger of what's to come. In fact, she uh, she already or he, he already hints at the fact that uh, through all of these actions, you just herald his master's return. <clears throat> and this was the setup that we got before the next expansion, Cataclysm. And that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And when we get back next week, we will begin the dungeons in the after the cataclysm we'll see you then